All right, guys, welcome back. Let's uh, restock. Dad told me she was building a ship. Is that the thing Tom's helped? Yeah, we're gonna restock. And then talk to Otto. Well, don't just stand there gawping. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Mm-hmm. Oh, we got some renown. This should be the cleric. Right? Welcome to the patron's whisper. Is everything we've received and everything promised. Yes. All yours. I'm right, gonna get 850. It will expand. All done. What's the uh Percentage here. Healing potency of high potion by 25%. What was the last one? Wait, what? Cleric's medallion increases healing potion potency of potions by 40%. Oh, high potions. Oh, okay. High potions, 25%. Okay. I was like, what? Why is this green item better than the, <laughs> better than the purple? All right. Let's talk to Otto. All right, Clive. Asterix. We'd finish sending half the Idaway tropes in across the twins, has she? I swear. That really? Anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. <laughs> no excuses now, though, eh? She's uh. Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that. In those words. It's probably too hard for her. Did yes. Clive. Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. <laughs> she'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. I might still be able to catch her. Obelus, have you seen Mid? Yep. In a bunch, going that way. <sighs> then I'm too late. Oh, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for ya. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Obelus. Don't mention it. What tidings, Uncle? My dear boy, my journey to Gamba has been resounding success. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding. <laughs> The friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the contents of his strong box with us, but his considerable knowledge of going ons in the free cities by which I learned of the endeavors of a certain young friend of yours. <clears throat> Though I, for one, believe Miss Talamon's project to be quite the valiant enterprise, I doubt the can Canvarian authorities will take kindly to the unauthorized use of use of their docks dockyards, no matter how deserted. And if rumor has already reached, my friend, it may not be long before the Gilmasters are rapping at our door, which is why I pen you, pen you this note. I'd like to borrow your man Gav for a moon or two, that he might keep a watch on those who might mean 
on those who might mean our little fellowship ill and warn us of any impending attack. I trust that you will give up. I trust that you will give this proposal your full consideration. Your loving uncle, Byron. Troubling Canva. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on Mid. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? It, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure we'll give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Right. Now we're going back to the old hideaway, Sid's legacy. Sid, I remember what you told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend. Hugo Cooker is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. As slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Coats. Oh, a Lady Karen. Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it was never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. 
So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you, but we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. Goods. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader, assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> You're letting me go with them. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that. You break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Bocklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. Let's go. Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? You see, that's it. Your protege is making a proper little outlaw of himself. <laughs> Three down, two to go. feeling better thanks to Taya I'm glad to hear it and Toggle helped too the new boy this used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass, and all official traffic moved there. Ah, this is the fishing village. Oh, okay. We got a side quest getting up. Get the cart. <clears throat> Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. Some enemies coming up. Oh, 
Oops, I accidentally used strength tonic. So what do you think? That we'd be really it's as bad as that. Oh why? There's trouble up ahead. And too much of it for us to handle. I take it there's danger on the road. Oh, what about this fearsome looking fellow? You think he'd be equal to the task? Oh, well, no doubt. What's going on? Assuming he's willing to hear us out. Well met, friend. My brother and I have been tasked with finding a merchant's missing cart. You seen it by any chance? How does a merchant misplace his cart? Oh, the man's a coward. When he thought goblins might come a-snarling, he ran, leaving his livelihood abandoned in the pass. He sent the two of us to fetch it, but it's gone. Now, I'm not much of a thinker. But I know the work of thieves when I see it. My brother's right on all accounts. And by my estimation, the bastards are lying in wait just down the road. We may have seen our share of action, true. We've not got the skill in arms to boldly brave an ambush. You, however, have the look of a man who needn't fear a band of backwater ruffians. What do you say? Will you help us out? Chances are they'll come for you either way. But if you promise to lend us a hand, at least you'll pocket a reward for your troubles. Well, if I'm going to have to deal with them anyway... You've clearly got a fine head on those broad shoulders. We're lucky you came along. Now, hoping to make a These guys uh, seem sus. Our merchant friend loaded his cart with as much as it would carry. Reckon he won't be forking over the rest of our fee if we don't find those goods. So, while you're seeing to those bandits, you keep your eyes open. All right. Just don't expect me to drag the cart out of there myself. No, no. Uh, you can leave the cart to us. You just put an end to those bandits and point us in the right direction. You do that, we'll take care of the rest. I'm not sure I trust those two. Yeah, I don't either. If there are bandits lying in wait, I should probably take care of them. Why am I on fire? What the hell? Oh, oops. Look lively, you lot. We've got guests. These must be our bandits. them dealt with. Now, where's that card? Mm. Was it the strength tonic that had me on fire? Possibly. 
I haven't used one the whole game until now. And it was by accident. found ourselves the right man for the job, wouldn't you say? Found the cart and didn't leave a single bastard breathing. Our merchant friend will be delighted. And how exactly will he be getting his goods out of here? You leave that to us. After all, it'd be wrong to make such a fine warrior haul cabbages to market. You've done your part. And that's all you need to worry about. Here. It's been a pleasure. Now piss off. There's no need to be so rude, brother. What if we want his help again next time? Bro, I'd slap that, that ball of bitch around. I just helped y'all and you told me to piss off. What a shithead. You've had your rewards and you're not getting any more. I would slap him fucking silly. I see the Dalmex lag behind Rosaria when it comes to Bridgeford. Hmm, interesting. Maybe in order to get access to whatever this shit is, we have to get be able to get into Dravod's. This doesn't look like this is going in this direction, or is it going to wrap around or anything like that? The fallen ruin should hold at least. The path continues on the other side. The vaults. Is there something we're missing here? That is... It's a named area, so I thought maybe something... Unique could be there. Oh, wow. The final sin, the Dalmachian Republic. So this is the Mechas. The land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here, at these falls. 
or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him. Yeah, that water place does not look natural. Curses. Looks as if like a giant beam hit down. Dominance in Paris. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spent. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. <laughs> Something wrong? What does he feel, Joshua, or something? Nothing. What was that? It's nothing. See the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambre. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. And I can think of none better suited to the task. What the hell is going on? There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead. And Drake's fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The Emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieger made flesh. What? Bro, you are a dominant, bro. Oh my god. Return to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. 
Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind, and my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths regarding the nature of nation, of rulers, and of the divine. You would trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your Emperor in the wars to come. The canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. You better not bend the knee again, boy. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. Oh, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? Markets are to the north. We just need to hug the coast. Bro is getting pushed around and stepped on like he is nothing. the Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No. His Radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinside. His troops are watching increasingly by far. Is this close to us? Right. 
run like the wind. They've closed the road to Randalar. If the siege breaks, they'll need more than this to stop the Imperial Legions marching on the capital. Oh, I'm done for. If you haven't got a pass, you're not getting through. Please, I'm begging you. Oh, nice. That's exactly why I came over here. I was like, maybe there's a chest in one of these corners. My loot senses were tingling. Come on. Oh, wow. We're at 36 minutes. I didn't even realize. Wrap it up here. Wow. Yeah, this does not look natural. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we'll end it here, and I'll see you guys in the next part.